what's up everybody and like I said in my last video I can never find a good strategy guide for Mortal Kombat Armageddon and I'm gonna try to make one myself I am no means proficient at this game so I'm gonna do my best I've already taken a look at Scorpion so today our combatant is Oops, that was bad timing and again Sector will always be the person we're fighting against, mainly because he's just there. I don't have to find anyone else. I should have picked Scorpion. He's just right next to him. But I used to suck with Sub-Zero, and I've never really found a game that I'm really good with Sub-Zero. He's never one of my favorite characters to play as. He's one of my favorite characters, story-wise. But I don't usually like playing as him. But this one isn't terrible. So we're going to take a look at his special moves first. Freeze is right hook. Get him out of that. And if you do that on a frozen opponent, well, I'll get to that later. Slide is left right. I was he didn't switch on me. Nope. Yep, there it is. Another thing I didn't realize, that slide is a great projectile dodge. I've actually managed to use it before to dodge projectiles. And what it also does, as I think... Oh, hang on, let me hit it with him. No, you can't hit him, hit him with an uppercut out of it because it knocks him up and back. But it is a great defensive move. And offensive move. Ice Clone is left hook. I've never really figured out how to use that move. That was Ice Pillar. That's down up, and it basically shoots a stream of ice up their butt, which I always find kind of funny. And something to note is that the Ice Pillar time for them being frozen is noticeably shorter. And you usually can't combo out of that one because it's usually just a knockdown attack. See, hang on. See, it's just knocked down. Come on. That one. See, they're just they're all knockdowns, I think. Yep. See, that one's a knockdown too. But, say if you do Ice Freeze and then accidentally do, just, or if you do uh, Ice Pillar and then accidentally do a regular Freeze. See, now I'm frozen. I can't move. It will freeze you if you do it on an already frozen opponent, is my point there. Now, some good Sub-Zero combos is left, left, down. These are all arrows. Left, left, right. And something to note is that is a knockdown, although the normal hit is not. If you're quick enough, you can do left, left, down, up. That's a fun one. But you gotta be quick, because they hit the ground pretty quick on those. Uh, See if I can do some aerial combat. That did not work. Some Sub Zero sword combos. He doesn't really have many. Come here. There he is. Let me jump around him. But I will note if you do left. Uh, I think it's right and, or no, it's left and up. It is some pretty quick ones. That's a cool knockdown attack. If you go 
right with your analog and then do down, down, left, right. It's a pretty good sword throw, pretty good attack. The issue with sub -Zero with his sword combos, he doesn't have a, hardly any decent ones because of the fact that his sword is huge. Something I did forget to say is Scorpion, or Sub-Zero's style is Dragon, I think. And his blade is a Quarry Blade. And a good combo, I forgot to mention. If you go right with your nunchuck and hit left, left, down, down. There it goes. Oh, hang on. It does just a quicker version of the left, left, down, up. So it's a bit easier to pull off, too. But I definitely like Sub-Zero in this one, but he's by far not my favorite character. That's it for now. Peace out.